Hi right, guys, in this one we're going to look at a new fish that I picked up from Ermson Aquatics while I did my monster fish tour last week. So obviously when I was over there I seen something that I, I really liked and if you, already, if you guys know and you've seen this tank here behind me which has all my earth eater type cichlids in, there is only one Geophagus Altifron in there and I took that because it looked lonely in the tank last time and then when I went this time there was one on its own in a tank again so I brought it home so the Geophagus Altifron it goes really nicely in that tank because we have a selection of fish in there that are earth eater type fish so we've got the Albino Hecali we have got the Geophagus Pyrocephalus which is the Redhead Tapajo we've got the Gymno Geophagus Balzini we've got the Albino Hecali which is the Threadfin Acara we have got the normal type Ecoli, which is also a Fred Finacara. And the tank is a very much a community tank. Every fish gets on and they live in harmony for 99% of the time. The Red Tapajos, they can get a little bit aggy at times. They're very territorial when they want to be, especially around feeding times. But on a whole, it, they do great. And this Geophagus Haltifron is the only Geophagus that I have actually ever kept before I kept any of these in this tank. So it is a nice tank, it is a nice fish, and it's a fish that's quite ten a penny in the UK, and you can get them at most fish shops. I remember a time when these fish were being labels, labeled as Serenomensis, which is actually not what they are. That's a much rarer Geophagus, which I think I've only seen a couple of times over the years but this one is a beauty and it fits in really well now this is a fish that is probably when you read on this fish it'll tell you that they're better off in groups now i only have two of these but they're in a group of fish in this tank and they they interact and live with that group of fish so that's fine in my opinion it also fits in nicely with what i'm trying to achieve in my fish room because it doesn't get massive now, they get to sizes of around seven, maybe eight inches, but you know, that, that's topping out, that's a topping out size. So, but still, when you think of some of the fish that I've kept in the past, like Trigger and Midas, things like that, they get to over a foot. So this is more fitting with what I'm trying to achieve in my, in my fish room. Again, with like water parameters, pH, you know, they're gonna, they can live in quite a range of pH, quite a low pH, a bit on the higher side. So anything like, I'd say even as low as 5.5 up to about seven. It's the same with temperatures, they can take a wide range of that too, from anything from around 23 up to about 30. So they're a very, very durable fish. You know, I've seen lots of people keep these fish and I've always, every time I've seen them in fish tanks, I, I, I get the wow factor. And in the moment in my fish room, this tank behind me is giving me the wow factor. It's also a fish that's gonna eat pretty much what you give it. It's gonna give, you're gonna, it's gonna eat your granules, your flay, your pellets. It's gonna eat all those things. It eats veggie, you know, I've had veggie tubbles in this tank and the Geophagus salty fronds have, have gone for it. So yeah, it eats a wide range of food, but do you know what, I had to pick it up it was on its own in the tank, well at least that's my excuse. Funny enough, both of those Geophagus Altifrons in my tank were in a tank on their own, so yeah, I, I guess it's a bit of fate. But moving forward, we may bring more of those into the fish room. We have got our current 4 by 2 by 2 which you'll know if you saw my fish room tour, there is some Nicaraguan cichlids, there is a pair of convict cichlids and a Salvina in there, so we are going to be moving the Nicaraguan cichlids on back to Bill. So Bill is taking those Nicaraguan cichlids. Now I say back to Bill because the male was Bill's for many years. I am going to keep the convict cichlids and I'm in two minds whether to keep the Salvini or not. But that will leave me that 4x2 free. Now I've got some ideas around that. I'm thinking wild caught angels and maybe some Geophagus salty fronds. I can maybe move those two into there and add some more to that group. But that's just ideas in my head right now. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you like that fish as much as I do. And I appreciate all your support that you give me. It means the world to me. And I'll see you all on the next one.